to show you a device called a string shooter. Uh, this is it right here. It's got a long continuous piece of string on it. And when I turn it on, it shoots the string forward. Uh, the string in its movement has some very interesting properties. So let's take a closer look. The idea for this device came from a baseball pitching machine. The idea is that the two wheels will turn and that will push the string forward. Since the string is a continuous loop, the two wheels throw the string out and it feeds back in on itself and there's a little plastic tube that guides it back into place in between the wheels. Now the two motors that hold the wheels are actually in a piece that is able to be pivoted so that you can adjust the angle that the string is released from. First thing to notice that once the machine is put into motion, if you tap on the string, waves will move away from the device on both the upper string and the lower side of the string. Here's another view of those waves traveling down the string as I tap it or shake it. It doesn't matter whether I shake it up or down or side to side, they still move at the same speed. The string speed is actually about 25 miles an hour for this particular piece. If I stand the string straight up, this loop will be about 8 feet tall. I have some that will stand over 10 feet tall, and in this room, they would actually hit the ceiling. The strings are shot fast enough that they can be supported in any direction without having to touch another surface. There's an old saying that you can't push string, but in this case, that's exactly what we're doing. The wheels push it forward. It has inertia that keeps it moving forward until the loop is pulled back towards the machine, and then it gets pushed again. What's amazing is how differently the string behaves while it's in motion. Uh, we think of string as being limp and has no support, but put into motion, it acts more like a stiff piece of springy wire that returns to its shape after it's been deformed by tapping or shaking it. Before shooting string, I tried other objects in this device. Uh, one piece in particular I found to be a lot of fun were popsicle sticks. They'll actually sail about 20 or 30 feet in the air, and the path isn't always straight, so it's kind of hard to figure out exactly where they're going to end up. But it's still fun to shoot them anyway. I hope you enjoyed this segment on the string shooters. Come back and see me again because I have more to show you. Bye!